All you need is love. Da 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 da. All you need is love. Da 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 da. All you need is love. Love. Love is all you need. Love is all you need. Love is all you need. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. I'm here with my friend Emily, and we're singing a song about love. I love love. Emily, are you going to help us with love today? I sure am. Okay. Emily will be back soon. Bye-bye, Emily. Bye-bye. Okay. Hi. Hi, friends. My name is Miss Lisa, and I'm here to talk to you today about all this good stuff, like God and love and peace and joy and fun. Hi, I'm here at the Center for Spiritual Living and every Sunday or anytime you can go out and watch these videos and I'll teach you a lesson. I'll teach you a lesson that always talks about God and then it talks about some virtue. And this month, because it's February, we're learning about love. Do you know what love is? Oh, it is great. It's this great, great thing. I love love. The first thing that we're going to talk about is God. Now, what is God? God is love. Yes. It's also joy. It's also my teeth. It's also chalk on the sidewalk. It is hmm, broccoli. It is candy. It is birds. It is a fence. It is your house or your apartment or wherever you live. It is everything. <laughs> God is everything. There's nothing that's not God. And since it's everything, it's everywhere. It's here, it's there, it's there, it's here, here. Every there is no spot where God is not. There is no spot where God is not. God is everywhere and it's everything. And so we're going to celebrate that right now by lighting these candles, saying some things that God is, and then affirming that we are everything that God is. All right, are you ready? I'm gonna say God is something, you're gonna say I am that. Are you ready? Got this. I'm gonna put it right on this candle and I'm gonna say God is life. I am life. You got it. God is light. I am light. God is joy. What do you say? I am joy. God is peace. I am peace. God is love. I am love. God is beauty. I am beauty. God is power. I am power. And together we say all of these things God is I am. Yeah, yeah, we get to be everything God is. Isn't that awesome? Because God's inside of us. That's the most important place where it is, right inside of us. So if God is calm, I can be calm. I get to choose. I get to choose anything that God is and then use it. Isn't that cool? So Sometimes, though, we forget. We forget to use it, right? Sometimes we're feeling frustrated or angry. You know, Valentine's Day is coming, right? Because <clears throat> it's February. That's why we're learning about love this week, this month, the whole month. And so Valentine's Day is coming. And so maybe you were hoping you would get a really cool Valentine from one of your friends and you didn't get one and you're feeling sad. That could happen. Or maybe... Mm, your big people say that you have to eat the vegetables on your plate and you are feeling grossed out. Or maybe someone says something mean to you and it hurts you and it even makes you a little angry. Those are feelings that we need to have those feelings. We need to feel angry sometimes or sad sometimes or grossed out sometimes. But... Do we want to feel that way all the time? No. So we can say a prayer. Now, a prayer is just five steps. Five steps of saying good stuff. Okay? The first step is 
God is all there is. Like we just said, God is everything, right? God is all there is. The second step is God's inside of me. The third step is saying that we know that because God is in us, we can do whatever we need to do. We can throw away the yuckies, like the anger, the, the, the gross, the gross outness, <laughs> or, or the sadness. We can get rid of it. We can choose happy. I know that since God is inside of me, I can choose happy. I can choose joyful. I can choose peace, right? So this is a way to help you remember going through these five steps. The fourth step is thank you. You knew that, didn't you? Thank you, because if you get to have God inside of you, you get to have it. If you get to have something, what do you say? Thank you. So that fourth step is thank you. And then the fifth step is let it go. Make sure you don't have those yuckies anymore. You got that affirmation. I am peace. I am, I am love. I am power. Whatever you need to be, you got it and let the other stuff go. And that's the last step. And then sometimes we say, and so it is. That's a good prayer to say. You can always say a prayer. And if you can't remember all of those steps, just remember, God's inside of me so I can do this. That's the most important part. All righty? Okay. So we said a prayer. We did our candles. Let's talk about love. What is love? What is love? Let's see. Love is this feeling that you have. You could have it for things. You could have it for another person. And you could even have it for yourself. You could have it for the earth, for nature, right? Oh, Emily's down here. She wants to come back. Here she is. She's going to help us with some things that she loves. Hi, everyone. Hi, Emily. Emily, can you tell us some things that you love? Oh, yes. I love, I oh, I... I love a special kind of candy. It's called nerds. Did you ever have nerds? I love them. <laughs> okay, that's a, how do you show nerds that you love them? I eat them. <laughs> yeah. Are nerds good for your body? Not very good. So that's another thing. I love myself, so I take care of my body. Oh, so I don't eat a lot of nerds, but I do love them. Okay, well, that's good. Is there anything else that you love? Well, you know, I live, I live with my Aunt Beulah, and I love her. She does so many things for me. She helps me get ready for school, and she buys me clothes. She helps me with my homework. Oh, Aunt Beulah sounds great. I love her. How do you show her that you love her? Well, I tell her I love you, and I give her lots of hugs, and then sometimes I help her out, you know, and I do my chores. That's a way to show her that I love her. Okay, good. That's good, Emily. Anything else that you love? I love the earth so I don't pollute it. Oh, yes. That's really important. Anything else that you love? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love myself. Oh, what do you love about yourself, Emily? You know, I'm really good at drawing. I'm getting very, very good at art. And I love that I'm able to be a good artist. Oh, it's important to love yourself too, friends. Be kind to yourself. Yeah, if you ever do all your chores and then and then you draw a really good picture, you could maybe let yourself have some nerds. <laughs> that would be a way to show love to yourself. Yeah, but take care of your body too. Okay, Emily, thank you so much for teaching us all about love today. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye-bye, Emily. Oh, that was great. Now we know all about how love works, right? We sang a song about it last week. Does, was anybody here? Do you remember the song that we sang about love? Well, I'll teach it to you, all right? I think I'll sing it one time, and then I'll teach you all the words, and we'll sing it together. Are you ready? <clears throat> Starts like this. I know that God is love, and God's inside me. So that means that I'm love. L-O-V-E, I feel so happy when love works through me. I'm going to think about how I show love. L-O-V-E, hey, I sang that whole song. I did pretty good. I love that I can sing. Hey, let's sing it together now. Are you ready? Here's how it starts. 
I know that God is that God is love. I know that God is love. Can we sing that much? I know that God is love and God's inside me and God's inside me. So that means that I'm love. So that means that I'm love. Let's spell it. L-O-V-E. Hey, what, why am I using my hand like that? Do you know what that is? That's sign language. That's a language that you speak with your hands. I'm making an L. You make an O like this, O. You make a V like that, and an E is like that. Can we do it? L, O, V, E, good. Then say, I feel so happy. I feel so happy when love works through me. When love works through me, I'm going to think about how I show love. L-O-V-E. Let's sing it one more time. Let's do it a little faster this time. Are you ready? I know that God is love. I know that God is love and God's inside me. So that means that I'm love. Let's spell it. L-O-V-E. I feel so happy. When love works through me, I'm going to think about how I show love. L-O-V-E. Yay! So many ways to show love, right? Yeah. If you have people in your life, you can hug them. You can tell them I love you. You can help them out, do kind things. So many ways to show love. Sometimes we forget to show love. Sometimes we forget to be peaceful. Sometimes we forget because our brain does something else. Like maybe, maybe you could be watching your favorite, favorite TV show and, and then your big person comes in, say your dad, he comes in and he goes, oh, I'm really not feeling well. I don't think I can clean up the living room right now. I'm so tired and I'm really feeling sick now. It would be your choice to turn the TV off and clean up the living room for daddy. That would be a way to show him that you love him, right? Or you could just sit and keep watching TV. Now, later on you might go, oh, I should have, you know, daddy gets really sick and then he goes, oh, I shouldn't have cleaned the living room, but no one else helped me. No, I'm really sick. You're gonna feel bad, right? Yeah. So. You'll wish that you had done the right choice, right? You made the right choice. So we can do this thing. This thing, because you'd be like, I don't want to turn the TV off, right? But we can do this thing. It's called meditation. And that's when you sit quiet and still and you exercise your brain. You make it strong. Just like you can do exercises to make your muscles strong, you can do exercises to make your brain strong. It's called meditation. So you sit quiet and still every day. You can do it or once a week or however much you think you can do it until your brain gets really strong to where when your dad comes in and says, oh, I'm feeling so sick and you're watching your favorite TV show. I don't want to, I don't want to clean the living room up right now. I don't feel well. You'll use that strong brain and you'll say, I can help you, daddy. Click. And you turn the TV off. Click. You turn it off and you get up and you help your dad, right? Or when your mom looks sad, you give her a hug. You don't think about yourself. You maybe think about someone else. Or when you've got a plate of healthy food in front of you to love yourself, your brain goes, you should eat that and you do it, right? That's having a strong brain so you can make good choices with it. And the way you start doing that is to meditate. And that's just sitting quiet and still and exercising your brain by saying, <clears throat> I'm going to think only happy thoughts. I'm going to think only happy thoughts. And I'm getting the music ready here. I'm going to think only happy thoughts while I listen to this sweet music and sit quiet and still. So then when a time comes that it's hard to exercise my brain and use the goodness, I just do it. I'll just know how to do it. I'll remember that I have all that peace and love inside of me. So here's our, oh, here's our nice music. 
we're gonna sit quiet and still get in a comfy, a comfy position. You might be sitting in a chair, you might be lying down, crisscross applesauce sitting, you might be uh, cuddling one of your toys, you might just cuddle, hug yourself. So many ways to get comfy, get comfy. I'm gonna get comfy right here in my chair. We're gonna take some breaths and then we're gonna sit quiet for two minutes. You can do it, I know you can. Are you ready? Let's take some breaths. Okay. Sit quietly. Close your eyes. Beautiful thoughts. Things you love and ways you've shown love. Here we go. Okay, open your eyes. Great job. Did you sit quiet and still for two minutes? Did you think beautiful thoughts? Does your heart feel so happy and full right now? <laughs> Mine does. Mine does. Give yourself a big hug. Yeah. Oh, great meditating. Oh, do you feel so filled with love right now? I do. Okay, we're gonna have our story now. Oh, do you see my book up there? Do you see my book up there? Do you know that book maybe? It's one of my very favorites. It's called The Pout Pout Fish. I'm gonna go get it. Here it is. Oh, I love this book. I love The Pout Pout Fish. It's written by a woman named Deborah Dyson. She's the author. And then the pictures are by Dan Hanna. He's called the illustrator. And the title is The Pout Pout Fish. Look at his mouth. Does he look happy? No. Did you ever pout? Did you ever pout? We face it like this. I wanted to have my candy. <laughs> Did you pout? I have pouted too. I have pouted too. So this book is called The Pout Pout Fish. And let's see what this is about. I love this book. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum gloomy swimmer with an ever present pout. There it is. See? I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, 
Blub, blub. Can you say that with me? Blub, blub, blub. He's such a powder. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Let's get the page turned. Here we go. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your cross town frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Because if you turn a smile upside down, I'm mean, turn a frown upside down, it's a smile. What does he say? He says, says the fish to his friend, Nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. So he thinks if his mouth is pouty, he has to be pouty. Do you think that's true? Let's see. He says, I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Help me out. Blub, blub. Blub! He's just so pouty. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hi, hey, Mr. Fish, with your daddy scaly scowl. I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hi, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope, a mope. How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend. Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. Everybody's telling him what to do. And he says he can't do anything because he's just got a sad face. I'm a, what is he? Pout, pout fish with a pout, pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky bulky sulkin is an unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like this, I am destined to be glum. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer the gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout. And then she swims away. She doesn't tell him what to do. She just loves him, right? Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. 
He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friends, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss kiss fish with a kiss kiss face. So I spread the cheery wearies all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. Smooch. Oh, what happened there? He was so pouty and sad because his face was like this. He thought he just had to be pouty and sad, but you know, everybody was telling him what to do. Why don't you be happy? What's wrong with you? Why don't you just show us some joy? But they were just telling him what to do. Were they loving him? No. What happened? He was, oh, here he is. He was being all sad. And then along came the silent swimmer. She just gave him a, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, you just need to love somebody. Don't tell them what to do. Just love them. Is that right, Miss Papa Fish? That's right, because I'm a kiss kiss fish now. <laughs> there they are. Ah, oh, I love that. I love that. So if you just show somebody some love, it might really, really, really help them. Right? So I thought we could make a love fish. Not a pout pout fish, but a fish that's all about love. So <clears throat> I'm thinking about hearts, right? So if you go to the computer where you're watching this video, you can print out this. It probably says love fish. Doesn't look like a fish yet, but it's going to, all right? So you can print that out. Now, if you, um, if you don't have a printer at your home, that's okay. We're gonna draw this, alrighty? So I'm gonna put it up here. These hearts are on their sides. I think I'll do this. Then I'll maybe even turn it upside down at one point. And we're going to draw it. So for this craft, you will need paper for your printer or paper to draw on. You will need a pink crayon, a red crayon, a purple crayon, scissors, and glue. So these three colors of crayons, pink, purple, and red, those are kind of like Valentine's Day colors. And then you'll need a scissors. It might be a big one or a little one. And you'll need some glue. I'm going to use a glue stick like this, but you can use this kind of glue if you want or any other kind of glue that you have. All right. Are you ready? Okay. We're going to start by drawing the big heart, okay? And if you run out of space on your paper, you can just get another piece of paper. But I fit it all on one paper because I love the trees and we get paper from trees and I try to, to keep as many trees alive because anytime we are using paper, that means that we're having to cut down more trees. And trees help us, they give us oxygen. So they love us and we love them. So I try not to use a lot of, um, <clears throat> a lot of paper. So I've done it all on one sheet. You're also going to need a black crayon, Miss Liz. I forgot. You're going to need a black crayon to draw your outlines, okay? So we're going to start with our big heart. So start with a big heart. Here's how we make a heart. Go up and down like a rainbow and then start from that same point and make one that looks almost just the same on the other side, up and down like a rainbow. And then do you see where this middle point is? You're going to make a slanted line down, 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 down. And then here, a slanted line down, 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 down. You see that? Until you have a heart. There's a heart. It's pretty big, right? Now we're going to make an eyeball. All righty? An eyeball is just a circle about that big. 
and then put a black dot on the inside. Got that? Okay. And then we're going to make a heart. We're going to have three sizes of hearts. This is going to be our medium size heart up here. Up and down like a rainbow. Up and down like a rainbow. Come back to this point. Slant it down to the middle bottom. Slant it down. Now I'm going to turn this paper upside down because it'll be easier to make our hearts that way. This is going to be... A, this heart is going to be a little bit bigger than, oopsie, here we go, than this one that we drew. I'm going to go up and down like a rainbow, up and down like a rainbow, and then slant down to that middle point like that. And then this heart is going to be pretty small. There, do you got all those? Do you get that? Okay. Great. Now we're going to color them in. All right, I'm going to use this one to color. I'm going to color my smallest heart red. We're going to make a fish out of these hearts, all right? So I'm going to color the smallest heart red. And then color it all red. If you need to you know, pause me because you don't color as fast as I do. That's fine. I'm trying to stay inside the lines as well as I can, but it's okay if I don't because we're going to cut these hearts out anyway. Then I'm going to color the this heart and this heart purple. So if you need to pause me because you're not coloring as quickly as me, that's just fine. Then I'm going to color this one purple too. Yep. And the big one, I'm going to color it pink. Now, if you love those colors, that's great. Now, if you want to make a fish out of different colors, it's okay. Your fish can be black or yellow or orange if you like those colors. That's fine. I'm going to color this one pink though because these are, you know, Valentine's Day is coming, and I thought it would be really fun to make this love fish out of Valentine's Day colors. So I'm coloring this one all pink. All right. I think I'm pretty much done. Are you done coloring too? Gonna get my scissors, and I've got things to cut out. Now I'm gonna keep all these things in the same place so I don't lose them. You're cutting things out. I'm cutting the eye out first. You know how to cut, right? You're going to put your fingers on the bottom in the big one, thumb on the top, open, shut, cut, cut, cut. Be very careful with your scissors. They're sharp and they could hurt someone, but they're also a wonderful tool. See how I'm using my helper hand here to go around? Yep, got that eyeball cut out. I'm going to put that down. You just keep cutting. If you don't cut as fast as me, Pause me. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to keep up with Miss Liza. I love that we learned all about love today. I think I'm going to go out and practice love. You can love anyone. It doesn't even have to be someone you know. You, you know, when you give someone a smile that you pass in the store or on the street, that's showing love. When you give your animals, oh, <laughs> Miss Liza's ripped. I've got it right here. When, there's my little heart. And when you give your animals some love, when you pet them or feed them, that's showing love. There's so many ways to show love. And you can love yourself by taking care of yourself, keeping yourself clean and healthy. That's a way to show love to yourself. Eating healthy foods is a way to show love to yourself. Practicing something that you're really good at. Maybe you're good at riding your bike or riding a skateboard, or jumping high, or running fast. And when you practice that, that's a way of showing yourself some love because you're, you're doing great things for your body and for your brain. Oh, meditation. That's a way to show yourself that you love yourself. We did that today. And prayer, right? Even making this craft, doing your best. That's a way to love yourself. So many ways to love yourself, and that's important to love yourself. Because if you're not loving yourself and putting all that love inside of you, knowing what it is, you're not going to be able to show it to anybody else, right? 
So you gotta love yourself. Okay, I've got almost all my hearts cut out. Now just the big one. Here I go. How is that, how are we gonna make a, a fish out of hearts? I will show you. I will show you. So this big heart will be the fish's body, right? Almost done here. Okay. Yet, there it is. There's my fish's body. Now, I'm gonna get my glue out. Here's my glue. And I'm going to get my little, my smallest heart, my red one. And I'm gonna put glue on the back of that. This, this is gonna be, this fish can kiss because it's a love fish, right? So he's gonna have great lips. I'm gonna glue those right on there like that. Oh, look at, that's a kissy fish. And this big one, this big purple one, this is gonna be the tail. So I'm gonna put glue on this. Uh, actually, I only need to put the glue right on the tip because that's all that's gonna glue on. It's gonna be like that. There's its tail. This is the fin. This medium-sized purple one is the fin. And I'm going to fold it fold this tip down this way. See how I did that? See how I did that? And then I'm gonna just put glue right on that tip. And I'm gonna put it like this so it sticks out a little bit. This is the, the fin, but that's made out of a heart too. And the last thing, it's not made out of a heart, but it's very important, is the fishy's eye. So let's put her eye, there she is. Or maybe it's a boy fish, I don't know. But it's a love fish. It's a love, love fish. It's our love fish. Yay, there it goes swimming along. <laughs> Good job. I loved having fun with you today. I'll put love fish up here. This was a great, fun time. And I will see you next time you join me. I can't wait. We're going to have more fun, learn more about God, learn more about love all through February. So, you go out and practice your love, all right? And know that I love you, okay? I'm gonna say bye-bye now. Bye-bye.